Hello everyone. Hello everyone. I have Goose here. He's being very needy. But welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make some cold sopa noodle for the hot summer. While I can use some store-bought noodles, I thought why not challenge ourselves and make some homemade sopa noodles ourselves. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Before making the noodles, I first made the dipping sauce so it would cool down fast enough. The first thing I needed for the dipping sauce was dashi. Once the stock is ready, I add in the soy sauce and mirin, and that's it for the dipping sauce. Moving on to the soba noodle, I mixed in whole wheat flour to the buckwheat flour. Then I added water and kneaded the mixture until a smooth dough was formed. Once my dough was ready, I floured my surface and split my dough into two halves. For both pieces, I kneaded a little more and also rolled them into a ball. I then rolled out my two balls into flat sheets. They will be flattened further using my pasta maker. Whipping out my pasta maker, I then pass my two dough through the roller to flatten to my desired thickness. Now time to cut the noodles. This is where things started going terribly wrong. As you can see here, I thought it was a great idea to let my noodle strands sit in a pile. As a result, I wasn't able to separate out the strands and I had to knead everything back into a dough. During my second attempt, I corrected my mistake but still had some obstacles. My strands kept breaking and also kept getting stuck together. I tried to salvage the strands with tapioca flour, but nonetheless I had to go back one step and knead in more flour. Finally, third time's the charm. Look at these noodles! Ta-da! Then I boiled the noodles for about a minute and a half. Then I gave my noodles a nice bath. After the ice bath, I continued rinsing the noodles with cold water, and that's when I noticed how short the noodle was. Make sure to drain completely. Because the noodles were so short, I couldn't actually dip it into the sauce. So instead, I added both the noodles and sauce into a bowl of ice. Taste test time! Also look at how short the noodles were. Still pretty good! Goose was not impressed. The redeeming part of the meal was definitely the dumplings. Check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. Thanks for watching! Please subscribe!